where does the team go from here? CBC Sports' Scott Russell has been covering this all weekend and with me tonight. Thank you very much. What next? How much of a cause for concern is the fact that Canada's coming home empty-handed? A little bit of a cause for concern, Heather, but circumstances conspired against the Canadians' injuries to Andre de Grasse, to the world high jump champion uh, Derek Druin. The norovirus hit Damian Warner. He was supposed to be a lock for a medal in the decathlon. And then you had the retirement of Brianne Tyson Eaton uh, from the heptathlon. She'd won a medal at the last world championships. So circumstances conspired against them and they didn't get landmark performances that they had hoped from, from Melissa Bishop, for instance. Are there any bright spots, though, in all of this? Yeah, let's turn the corner and okay. say that Melissa Bishop was indeed a bright spot. She was running under very difficult circumstances, as you know, against Castor Semenya. She was fifth and a strong fifth. There were 12 top eight finishes for the Canadians. That's a landmark total for the Canadians. A Crystal Emmanuel made a 200-meter final for the first time in a long time. And that 4 by 100 meter men's relay team without their anchor, Andre de Grasse, was top six in the world. So going forward, it's a young Canadian team that has room to grow. The other surprise, indeed perhaps disappointment, how Usain Bolt's career came to an end. Not at all the story he'd hoped to write. It wasn't the storybook ending that anybody hoped for. Uh, he was third in the 100 meters. He failed to complete the four by 100 meters because of the injury. Uh, so he didn't get that fable-like ending, but he had a fable-like career and a fable-like following from the fans in London. This guy won 11 World Championship gold medals. He won eight Olympic gold medals. He's the fastest human being to have ever lived on the planet, and he put people in the seats for track and field. He's the best there ever was.